guys. Let's have a moment real quick. I had to get off the property really fast. I needed to drive for a minute and sing country music really loud. Sometimes it's just necessary. I stopped by Costco, got us some more water bottles and um, some rugs that I needed for the dog building and these yummy vegan Cheetos that they have that are freaking delicious. Um, and I ran into a follower at, sorry, I won't eat while I'm talking to you. I ran into a follower while we were there and gave her a hug and everything. And she made a comment that several people have made in the last week. She said, I saw you on the news the last week and you did great, which is super sweet and kind. Um, and then she was like, the, um, you, you must've got a whole bunch of donations. The donations must've been coming in and you, you look so cute and cutie pie was so cute. And, um, I don't mean this to sound ugly because uh, the the news thing, every time we're on the news, it's awesome. It's great for us. We typically always find some families that need to come to us for healing. Um, it's fun to showcase my animals and to, you know, to put it on social media and spread the word about our nonprofit. But um, I think people have a contorted idea of what happens because um, we're a small nonprofit. I see every single donation that comes in, every single one. I get a ding on my phone. Um, uh, there, we have a handful of people that sponsor an animal every month and every, whatever day they signed up for, every that day, every single month, I get the little ding that says their $10 is coming in and it's like a little hug on my heart and I see it. <laughs> so there's no like, you know, we're not ginormous. Every, every single dollar matters to us. I mean, we still, you know, we pay the we pay saving office mortgage. We pay the the electric. You know, like we're still paying the nonprofit. The nonprofit is not um, while it's going in the right direction and it's growing and we're coming this awesome family. Um, you know, it still doesn't even sustain itself yet. And so, uh, um, not to mention, we don't have basic needs. We don't have a barn. We don't have. Uh, basic structures and fencing we rig stuff up still I mean it it is very much still a work in progress I mean we're not even close to like oh look at us we're all set up and rolling not even close and while we had a blast at that news thing and David and I got to go to the domain and have a little brunch which literally never ever happens it was super fun to have cutie pie and pixie there we didn't receive one single donation from that not there was not one PayPal or Venmo or um, email or anything at all that was related to that news article and so or to that news feature and so um, I would know I, I, I see all of it <laughs> I see every email every message Donovan and Lisa help me but I, I see every single aspect of the rescue it's still it's still you know me and so um, um, I just, I sort of wanted to spread that message, not to feel sorry for myself because we're doing it, we're working our hardest and we're building a community and everything's moving in the right direction, but really for all nonprofits everywhere, it's like people see good things happening and they just automatically think, oh, awesome, they're doing great. Even some of my own family members will be like, dude, you must be so happy, you're killing it, you know, you're getting all these people helping and all these donations. And um, I think that what you're seeing on social media, because I want to share, is very different than what the reality is. So um, just keep that in mind. Don't forget about your local nonprofits. There's so much more to it than you think. <laughs> I'm going to go back and do evening feeding. All right. Love you. Bye.